Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. I am a styling, skincare, hair care, self care uh, enthusiast. I don't have any training in anything. I just have people ask me questions sometimes. So I wanted to make a YouTube channel to just share what I know. So today what I'm gonna be doing is talking about some basics of uh, closet and clothing sort of organization and showing you guys the, um, the closet space that I have access to. So um, I wanna start off by saying, uh, I understand that I am a very privileged person. I grew up with privilege. I'm very lucky to have the parents I did and be in the situation that I am. Um, so I, I probably have more closet space than the average person. Um, and I just wanna let you guys know that I acknowledge that, I understand that. Um, I do feel a little strange showing this video, but I'm, the, the reason I'm showing this video is because I want to help people. I want to help people organize themselves, feel good about their clothes, uh, be in a better place to put together outfits that they like. And that's, that's really the aim of this video. So hopefully that, that comes across for you guys. Um, and so uh, when you're organizing your clothes and your closet um, and you don't really know what to do, honestly, the first thing I would do is take out every single piece of clothing you own and put it in one central place. So put it on your bed, put it in your living room floor, just put literally every single thing because you don't know what you have, what you need, what you should get rid of until you can actually see it all. Um, so uh, as you're going through your clothes, you can kind of uh, think about how the clothes make you feel. Um, and oftentimes that voice is pretty quiet uh, if this is something you've never done before. So what can be easier is picking up like your favorite piece of clothing and think about like, this is so soft, it's so pretty, I like the way I look in it, whatever good feelings that piece of clothing brings out in you, um, you know, think about that and then pick up another piece of clothing and be like, okay, does this second piece of clothing, like how does it make me feel compared to the first? And if it's your absolute favorite piece of clothing, of course it's not gonna make you feel, you know, exactly the same way as your absolute favorite piece of clothing, but is it close? Is it something that you like wearing? Is it something that, you know, if your favorite piece is in the wash, are you gonna wear this too? And so hopefully though that thought process can help you figure out exactly the things to keep. And so once you've figured out the, the things that you wanna keep, um, then you have to figure out how to put them away. And so um, not everybody is sort of cut out for, for you know, uh, stringent organization. That's just not how everybody's brains work, which I totally understand. Um, and there's a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different people out there that tell you how to organize in a lot of different ways. Um, me personally, I've just kind of pulled a lot of things from a lot of places over the years. And my brain tends to be like an organized person anyway. That's just how my brain works. And honestly, it's just not for everybody. That's just not how everybody does things. Um, but I think it does show a modicum of respect for your clothes. You know, they're, they're keeping you warm. They're keeping you um, uh, covered throughout the day. Um, you want to take care of them so you don't have to buy as many of them. Uh, they help you feel good about yourself. So I think it's a sign of, I know it's it's odd to talk about paying respect to an inanimate object, um, but, but truly I, I feel that way about pretty much everything is that, you know, I'm trying to respect these things and, and use them in a way that, that they're meant to be used. And so hanging up your clothes, folding them neatly so they don't have as many wrinkles, that's showing respect to your clothing, but it's also showing respect to yourself because, you know, let's say that you want to uh, get dressed up for something and your, your white dress shirt, it just has all these wrinkles on it. Well, if we don't get the wrinkles out, um, you know, you can certainly wear it that way. It's still gonna function as a piece of clothing, but people are going to make assumptions about you as a person and they are probably gonna be wrong, you know, but, um, People make those assumptions. And so if we wanna put out a certain message into the world, then we have to do a little bit of work on that ourselves. And it shouldn't have to be that way. It really shouldn't. Um, you know, women shouldn't be looked down upon if they don't wear makeup or if they don't color their hair or if they, you know, men shouldn't be looked down upon if they're not six foot two and, you know, have broad shoulders. Like there's all these things that are shouldn't, they, they, they shouldn't be that way. Um, and you don't have to give in to those things. You really don't. But um, I think keeping your clothes organized um, and, and knowing where things are and, and paying respect to your clothes. Um, I do really think that's something that everybody can do, at least to, to a degree, um, to, to really put out the image that they want in the world. Um, I, think, I think it's good to have, you know, a decent amount of control over how people sort of perceive you, and you can do that with your clothing. So I think helping, uh, having things organized, knowing where everything is, knowing what you like, can help you put out the image in the world that you would like to project. So. Um, in any case, this video is just here to help. Hopefully these organizational tips will help you. Um, I, I mean, no disrespect to anybody whatsoever. Um, when I'm organizing my clothes, uh, I personally like to organize um, in a certain way where different types of things are together. But you have to think about how your brain works with those with, with clothes and how your brain likes to see things categorized. So do you like uh, everything the same colors together? Do you like everything the same sleeve length? Uh, what about the seasons? 
Um, do you want to do different fabric types? Do you want to do different occasions? Do you want So there's so many ways to organize clothes and kind of put them into buckets. And it's up to you to figure out which buckets work best for you. I've just found what works best for me. My best friend does things entirely by seasons. So she puts away a whole, my mom does this too. They'll put away a whole bunch of stuff, you know, in October and then bring out a whole bunch of other stuff for the fall. I don't do that because I like wearing um, a blouse or a t-shirt and then a cardigan on top. So it's just, it's not for me. So think about how your brain likes to categorize things. And I think that'll help you figure out how to put things away so that it really, it really works for you. Because honestly, when, um, you know, once the closet's organized, of course it's organized now um, when you first do it, but over time things start to get messy again. And the easiest thing to do to make it not get messy is put everything back where it goes immediately. So, you know, you wash a piece of clothing you fold it, you put it back away where it goes. And then you're never going to have to do that like ginormous closet purge ever again, because you did it once and now you're keeping things where they, they need to be. Your brain knows where they are. It's easy to find. Um, I just think it makes things a lot easier. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually filming from my phone. Uh, I'm going to get up and I'm going to show you guys the closet space that I have access to. All right. So I'm going to go in my smaller closet first. Um, so up here, you can see I have shelves, I have um, um, bars, and I have some stuff hung over here. So um, up here, I have some shoes that like, I like these shoes, but they're less comfortable. They're casual shoes. I'm not gonna use them like super duper often. So they're up there. Um, the next shelf here is going to be sort of dressier leggings. Um, these guys are actually lined. They're really cool. I got them in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, and then I have sort of weirder pants over here. So gray jeans and these, these striped pants that are ridiculous, but I love them. And then I have all of my black jeans. So this needs to be judged up a little bit, but you can see that everything is like sticking out in the same, um, it's the same distance out here in the shelf. And that's because I folded these a certain way. Um, this is the way that Marie Kondo describes in her book. And I'll do a, a demo one day of how to fold things the way I like to, to fold them. Cause I like this look of these things just like sticking out like this. Um, over here, this is going to be things uh, like my favorite leggings. Um, and wait, what is this? See, look at this. I have things I don't even know I have. Um, then I have dress pants from Costco. And up here, I have a pair of like harem pants from Amazon. So this is just a whole pants section. Um, a lot of these I can wear to work. These in particular uh, are gray dress pants that actually have a bit of a stretchy waist that I wear to work from the loft. Um, by the way, you don't need to get all of your clothes from the same place. Um, you don't need to always go somewhere expensive, always go somewhere cheap. Um, the most expensive single piece of clothing I have is probably um, a dress that I got for $100. Like almost nothing I have is over $100. So the jeans that work best for me, I am a curvy person, but I'm not the type of curvy where my waist is super tiny and my hips are super big. So I can wear straight like like straight jeans, I guess. So the jeans that work best for me are gonna be Levi's as well as Kenzie. So Levi's I got on Amazon. Kenzie you can get from uh, TJ Maxx. And then also over here, I believe I have some Gloria Vanderbilt jeans, which are from Kohl's. And then like these guys, this is, um, the, it's a stretchy material, but they're not leggings. Um, this is from, I wanna say Walmart. These are from Chico's of all places. This is from uh, Mod Cloth. I get a lot of my strangely uh, patterned things from Mod, Mod Cloth. And like these striped pants here are from ASOS. So don't be afraid to kind of look in different places. So here's gonna be my t-shirts. So one of the things I took from Marie Kondo's way of doing things is um, shoe boxes being an excellent way to store things. So I find shoe boxes are a really great option for t-shirts. Um, these are my favorite t-shirts. I have more of them, um, but I don't, I don't wear some of them or I put them away for a future use of some kind. Um, and so I fold them in a specific way and then they generally fit in these, in these boxes here. I just have to zhuzh it up a little as you can see. Um, and then I have a pair of white jeans. I haven't actually tried these on yet, but they were final sale, so I'm keeping them, uh, but they might turn into a, a sewing project. So a lot of people have what they call the chair, um, which is where they put things that aren't quite clean, but aren't quite dirty. This is my version of the chair. So this is uh, just a smaller area. Um, and it helps me keep it under control that there's not too many things that are sort of in that, that limbo of not being clean, not being dirty. These shoes, I'm still debating if I should keep them um, for various reasons. I, I really like uh, white sneakers. Um, there's a couple of things that I buy way too often. White sneakers are one of them, so I'm still debating keeping those. And then in these drawers down here is going to be tank tops and belts, um, and also leggings that are not as fancy as the leggings I have uh, that are folded. So um, some of this is a little illogical because it's like, okay, 
these are regular black leggings. Why aren't they down in the regular black leggings section? It's like, well, these regular black leggings are from Kohl's and these are from Costco. And it's like, so there's gonna be some illogical things here, but it, it just has to work for your brain. If you know where they are, if they're nicely put away, they're not gonna be wrinkle city when you put them on. I think that's the only thing that really matters. These slippers, by the way, these are from, oh gosh, golly, I gotta find the name of the company and I'll put it in the comments because these are the best sneakers, sneakers. These are the best slippers in the world. Um, I got them at the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival years and years and years ago. And then on the right is my second pair I got for Christmas this year that I've already worn to death. So now up here, this is going to be um, most of my short sleeve tops that are more blousey. Um, back there, I also have some work shirts. And then this is a shirt I stole from my father that I kind of use as like a delineation line here. So um, one of my things that I do quite a bit is I will take one of these patterned shirts and I will wear it with a dark pair of jeans and a cardigan. So I have a lot of patterned shirts because I just, I like that. And then over here I have my cardigans. So that's a really easy way to look put together is something with, um, something with a pattern here, um, something, and then a couple other things that are solid, maybe like a necklace or a pair of earrings um, or some, you know, piece of, of um, um, uh, accessories, and then, you know, just a, a decent pair of shoes. I think that's a great way to generally look put together. Down here is going to be more long sleeve items and heavier items. So like this is short sleeve, but it's, um, it's basically a sweater. So that's why it's down here. These things are a little heavier. I've also started getting more into sweatshirts. This is my absolute favorite sweatshirt. Um, so I have this guy down here, uh, very recently washed. Cardigans. Up here is going to be some sweater stuff. So you shouldn't hang most um, heavy sweaters because what's gonna happen is the, the corner here of the hanger is going to dig into the shoulder of the garment and it's gonna stretch it out. So these two here are sweater dresses. This guy over here is uh, a crocheted cardigan that I got in an estate sale. Um, estate sales are great places to get uh, clothes, by the way. And so if I hung these up, they're gonna get stretched out in the shoulder and I don't want that. So that's why they're up here. Uh, so same idea up here with these sweaters. Um, again, this needs to be organized a smidge. This white sweater right here is from, white here? No. Uh, it's also from an estate sale. I got it for a dollar. It is my favorite sweater. So uh, again, I have stuff that costs $300, $300 pair of shoes, and I have stuff that costs a dollar, and I love it equally. So keep your eyes open because you never know where you're going to find something you like. This area right here is one of my problem areas. So I really love white t-shirts, white blouses, a white top. My favorite thing to wear is a white top with a dark pair of jeans and brown shoes. I don't know why, it's my favorite thing. So you'll see here, this one from Mod Cloth I got on sale. It's a little too big on me. I'm still trying to figure out how to style it. Um, but I like finding things that have some detail. So if you like a certain color, look for different pieces that have details like this sleeve or this has some texture. Um, something that you can keep in mind is this idea of color, pattern, texture, shine. So those are the things that make something kind of different. So if you're looking for something that's not like a boring black cardigan, the shape of this cardigan is actually like a bat wing shape. It makes it more interesting. So um, I guess you could call, well, that's not really a pattern, is it? Um, I guess that's the cut of it, but the idea remains the same. So uh, like over here, this has some yellow flowers on it. This has a jaguar on it. Color, pattern, texture. This guy has real nice texture. I do have to wear a tank under it though. And shine. That's going to make your clothes uh, more unique if that's something you're looking for. So here are the shoes that I wear the most often, as well as some smaller purses up here if I want to change my purse out. So um, I have three pairs of Allbirds. They're all here in a row. I love Allbirds. If you're on the fence, I would totally recommend them. I'm uh, usually a nine and a half, uh, most of the time a wide. I get Allbirds in a size 10 for women's. They fit perfectly. You can put them in the washing machine. I've put these in the washing machine so many times. Um, I really highly recommend them if you're looking for good shoes. I can also walk in these all day. Uh, down there's my laundry. <laughs> Uh, I have a pair of knee solo shoes. These shoes were about $120. They're really well made, but the leather's still a little stiff. I'm actually still working on breaking them in. These are my $300 pair of shoes from Bells and Becks. Um, these are really well made. They're really nice and soft, uh, but I'm too afraid to wear them, so I haven't worn them yet. Um, another pair of white sneakers. Uh, I tend to buy a lot of Clarks as well, so these guys are Clarks. Um, and then this is probably my absolute favorite pair of shoes. I have another pair of these that's brand new in the box because I just love them so much and I don't want them to die and me not have another pair so you can see like the heel and everything. So these are born again concepts, born of concepts, BOC. Uh, again, I got these in a size 10. Um, it does take me one or two wears to break these in, but once I do, I can wear them everywhere. I can wear them with socks, without socks. I wear them all over Europe. They're, they're really, really great shoes. 
Um, I also have a bit of plantar fasciitis. And so uh, if you're not familiar with Vionic shoes, they're really great if you have um, arch issues. And uh, these guys I got on sale at, at DSW. So I really don't buy anything that's, that's not on sale. So this is closet number one. So now we're going over to closet number two. Um, so it's kind of ridiculous I have this much space. Um, I believe this house is designed for at least two people. So that's why I have so much space. Um, so over here is going to just be some accessories to kind of, you know, take up a little bit, be a bit of a decoration. This is what I call my shmata section. So shmata in Yiddish means rag, I believe. Um, and so I have these like, um, just like house dresses. I'm a real big fan of a house dress, honestly. Um, it, it, uh, it gives my mother anxiety to picture me like going outside in a house dress, but I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I like house dresses. It's my life. Um, this guy right here is really cool. It's actually a, um, like a bed robe. So when you're sitting in bed, you put this over your shoulders so that you're not cold. And this was actually my grandmother's. She made it. Um, and I've worn it to sleep before, but I can't do it too often because you'll see the, the buttons start to come off. This guy right here is like the definition of a shmata. This is from ASOS. It's actually one piece. Um, it's, it's a dress and it looks like, you know, a potato sack when I wear it, but it's so comfy. It's so reassuring. I just, I love it. I wear it in the winter. I don't even care. Um, so again, you should be wearing things that you like wearing. Over here are my medium length skirts. So, um, you know, they don't need to be taking up the super tall, um, uh, areas here, but they do need to be hung up. So I am a slightly larger person. So not all of my skirts fit on a, a hanger like this. They'll sort of fall off. Um, but I, so I have these, these guys here. I have lost some weight though. So some of my skirts do this, but, but not all of them do. Up here are my blazers. So I don't have a lot of blazers left because I've gotten rid of a lot of them. That in the back there is actually from a Halloween costume, that pleather thing. And, um, Blazers are really, uh, they're a great upstep from a cardigan. So if you wear a colorful blouse, uh, a pair of jeans, or, you know, a blouse with a, an interesting texture or an interesting shape, a pair of jeans and a blazer, it's a really easy way to look together. Um, also, if you stick to neutrals, so denim is a neutral. So denim, khaki, olive green, black, white, gray. Those are all neutrals, brown as well. You can mix any of them together in pretty much any way and it's gonna look pretty good. Uh, I don't like khaki with brown because yellow and brown, I just don't like those colors together. Um, but other than that, you can kind of mix any of that and it looks really sophisticated to just wear neutrals. So if you're looking for a color palette but you don't love color, you don't know what to do, it can be sort of a granimal situation to just say, okay, I've got a white shirt, I've got black pants, and I've got a gray blazer right here and I'm good to go. Another way to add color is going to be scarves. So I love scarves. Uh, I wear them quite a bit when it's a little bit colder. This is my absolute favorite scarf in the world. It's like 15 years old from when I worked at the loft. Um, this color scheme, I know it kind of like, like if I were to describe this to somebody, I know it looks kind of icky, um, but I love this scarf. I wear it all the time. It's a really great way to punch up an outfit. So that white shirt, dark jeans, uh, and then, you know, a cardigan, a plain colored cardigan, and that on top of it, that's a good outfit. So over here is going to be this hanging thing for purses. This is held up really well. Um, it holds uh, a lot of my sort of larger purses here. And then I have some more purses up there. I know I have too much crap, I'm sorry. Um, and then here's gonna be my swim stuff. So that has uh, my bathing suits and uh, beach cover-ups and my hat there. So these dresses actually need to be organized a little bit. They're longer dresses, because I'm a big fan of a longer dress, um, but not all of them are the same type of, of garment. So like, this is something I could easily wear to work. It's just like a denim, you know, midi dress. And then this is something like I could wear it to work, but it's gonna be a little dressy to wear this to work, um, considering how chill my office is. So um, I do need to organize this a little bit, and I, you know, I realize the sleeve lengths are all different, but this is all the same type of thing. This is a longer dress that's not appropriate for, um, uh, a drawer. So that's why it's here. Um, so I am a cat person. I do have a cat. So back here, I have the cat stuff. I feel like this is just the perfect place to put the cat stuff. Um, so what I've done is I've tried to put like, this is my hanging uh, longer skirts and dressier pants. So like it doesn't get to the floor. And then over here on the floor, this is the cat. Uh, well, the cat has multiple food and water bowls, but I have some of them here. So like if she you know, get some of her stuff somewhere. It's not getting on my clothes. It's something easy that I can, that I can clean. Speaking of easy to clean, these puppy pads right here are such a lifesaver. I had an older cat with kidney problems. She kept peeing on the floor. So these are washable puppy pads that I got from Chewy. I got two packages of them. They are super fantastic. If you're looking for them, I would recommend those quite a bit. And so now here are the rest of my shoes. 
So if you have wider feet, um, I would totally suggest uh, these little stretcher shoe stretcher thingies that you can get from Amazon. I've used these um, quite a few times to stretch out shoes a little bit. If your shoes are full leather, it's going to make them easier to stretch as well, just as an FYI. Um, these guys don't really fit in any good uh, boxes because these boxes, as you can see, are kind of small, so these don't fit here. These boxes here are from Ikea. Uh, I believe they were like four for $10. These are the best shoe boxes in the world. They're relatively inexpensive. They hold up well. They don't have sharp edges. Some of the plastic at the container store can really have sharp edges and these don't. So that's really fantastic. Got some boots over here and just, you know, more shoes. I don't wear these as often. That's most of the reason that they're here. Um, some of these guys I do wear, like this I've worn to death, um, these black shoes. These are Jeffrey Campbell, and I can't bring myself to get rid of them, even though clearly they are on their last leg. I just, I love them too much, and I keep keeping them. Um, so uh, these guys are from Amazon. These are Birkenstock fakes. Um, Birkenstocks don't fit me real well because of my low arch and my wide feet, so these are kind of fake Birkenstocks, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the end of my, my closet here. Um, so I really hope that that, that helps somebody in some way. Um, again, organizing is not for everybody. Being you know neat as a pin is not for everybody. But I think if you show respect for your clothes, then it's only going to do positive things for you. Uh, if there's any type of style videos that you guys want me to do or you want to see, um, I'm planning on doing some videos about putting outfits together and like what goes good with what and why and some different color stuff and just showing you some outfits that I love. But if you have any ideas of what I could do, then I would love to hear about them. Um, but other than that, I hope you have a really great rest of your day.